In about two months since the fierce flooding tore through Herkimer and Montgomery counties, families now are starting to get some financial help. The check is in the mail. $13.6 million going to those who suffered through the storm, losing their homes and businesses. In a very strange way, if we do this right, we'll look back a year from now and we'll say, you know what, it was a terrible thing that we went through. But we pulled together, it brought out the best in people, and we actually built back better than we were before. Federal assistance was denied by FEMA, so Governor Cuomo got the money from the state budget. The governor was in Herkimer today, checking on the progress being made there as more than 1,200 checks were sent out to victims. Our Craig Smith is live in Fort Plain tonight. Another area hit very hard by those floods. Craig, what are victims there telling you tonight? Well, Greg, some of them are saying they're exactly where they want to be. Others have a long road ahead of them. Some of them will never get back to normal. Among the people who can use some help out here are families, people who have children who've been having a tough time covering their expenses. The PTA called this a back-to-school bash, a way to end vacation on a high note for families who've had a tough summer. Usually I come home from work, go to the trailer, try and cook dinner, chase the baby who tries to escape from the trailer. And I live on Main Street, so that's not a good idea. And so it, it, it's a nice break. Renee Shoemaker appreciates the offer of help with school supplies. She's one of many who signed up. Everything goes towards trying to figure out how to rebuild the house. Every last dime, every last penny. So not having to buy school supplies really makes a difference. She also signed up for help from the state. She's living in her camper next to her house with three kids, her mother, a cat, and a dog. What they're telling me is they have enough volunteers, you know, that they could probably bang out the sheetrock in a short period of time. Um, the main thing is getting the funding and waiting for the house to dry out completely, which my house is pretty close to being there already. One of her neighbors is an apartment building owner awaiting news from the state, hoping to turn this space back into dwellings. Just down Main Street at Papa Joe's, Joe Schultz is one businessman hoping his application results in the maximum $50,000. He estimates most of the town's businesses have recovered or will soon. Well, about probably 80 percent. I mean, a lot of the stores are going to open over the next week or so. You know, the grocery store is going to open up in two weeks. And so, you know, most of the businesses are back. You know, there's a few that aren't going to, but so probably overall, probably 80 percent will be open. Here in Montgomery County, the number of checks issued by the state is 104, and those total just over $1.4 million. We're live in Fort Plain, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.